We've heard a lot about uh, how we can address the problems of out of hospital cardiac arrest in an urban setting. Um, we've heard a little bit about how first responders can uh, support their communities. Um, but the Sandpiper Wildcat Project is a specific mix of these things. It's about addressing the problem of out of hospital cardiac arrest in a non urban setting um, up in Grampian in the northeast of Scotland. Um, and I'd like to invite Colville Laird and the Sandpiper team to come up to the stage and we'll have a conversation about that. Thank you very much. Let's welcome them up. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit next to me today. <laughs> okay, well, guys, probably the easiest thing uh, Kerry, Lorna, Colville, is if you just maybe introduce yourselves and, and give us a one-liner about what your role is in the project. Okay, I'll start. Um, I'm Kerry Fickling. I've um, been working with Scottish Ambulance Service and I'm now seconded to be project manager for Sandpiper Wildcat. Hi, I'm Lorna Donaldson, paramedic, seconded to be the trainer with Sandpiper Wildcat. Hi, I'm Colville Laird. I'm the medical director of Basic Scotland and I do what Kerry and Lorna tell me. <laughs> Can we just add that Keith is in Aberdeen for Sandpiper Wildcat as well? So there is a third member of the, the project team, isn't there, Keith, who's yes. uh, another trainer who can't, can't be with us today, but that's great. So, so guys, w what, is, what is Wildcat? Well, Wildcat, I think, is a, an attempt to look at all the excellent work that is already going on and that we've heard about today and try and make it into a region-wide system that's as effective as possible for as many people as possible. And I think that there are great comparisons with the work that Steve Brooks talked about this morning. Um, and when he started talking about defibrillators and the fact that it's luck that you get resuscitated, um, uh, it's very similar when you get, particularly when you get to rural parts of Scotland. It's very, very lucky so if you get resuscitated because there are big gaps in the system. And, and it's, it's almost a, a rural version of what Steve was talking about, looking at the system, looking at what's already in place and seeing what changes can be made to make all the great resources and people we've got out there as effective as, as, as possible. So in the same way as Steve was looking at it, he was talking about hot spots. I think I might call them weak spots or whatever, but we're looking at, we've identified those um, and we're looking at ways that we can make the provision in these areas better and, and take it from there. Great, great. So ladies, what, what does that look like on the ground? What does that translate into in terms of activity? Okay, so we are aiming to supply 100 defibs across Grampian and each of these defibs will be manned by a team of people, four or five people. Um, uh, it's similarly to a community first responder scheme, these guys will be responsible for a defib and a pager which is connected to Scottish Ambulance Service Control, where they will be activated uh, when a cardiac arrest occurs in their local communities. So we've identified 50 hotspots, weak spots, areas that need additional support, and these teams will be in those areas so they're down the street, round the corner from these cardiac arrests when they happen. Great. And, and, and where are you with that so far? The project has launched recently. What, t talk us through how <laughs> things are going. Okay, so we've launched. Um, the, the Sandpiper Trust has raised almost all of its £850,000 target to fund the project, so the funding is in place. The work in, uh, in conjunction with the Resuscitation Research Group, with the Scottish Ambulance Service, with Basics, we've got those together. We're in talks with Murray McEwen, who you've just spoken to, about how we interact with the current community first responder schemes. We're also working with the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, but implementing them. We've just started our recruitment now for specific wildcat cardiac responders. Um, so things are really starting to take motion. Brilliant, you've been busy. We have. <laughs> and, and what do you think the biggest challenges are going to be going forward? What, what's going to be tricky? Yeah, probably um, communication. We need to make sure that uh, all the communication, the links in communication are open and there at all times so that when an out of hospital cardiac arrest does occur, that control know that these cardiac responders are in the places that they need to be, and that their defib is working, and that they can get to that cardiac arrest as quickly as possible, so that everything's in place to give that person in the early minutes the best possible chance that they have. 
brilliant. So joining up the dots. That's, how it that's the challenge. Okay, and, and final question then. What, what can we do to support the what Sandpaper Wildcat project? I think, I think it, it's um, important to realise that this isn't um, an attempt to replace anything else or to uh, you know to to be in competition with anybody. This is this is not a project to put a necessarily a permanent method of um, provision in place. It's it's an attempt to measure all the factors that we can use to shave the vital minutes off of responses to cardiac arrests in rural areas. And we're testing things that we hope to pass on to everyone else as ways of improving the service. And so, you know, please don't think we're, we're trying to do anything and we're trying to do anything wonderful and do anything better than anybody else. We're not. We're just simply trying to measure things. And, and it will only be the start of measuring what will be an ongoing process of improvement so that, you know, we do with cardiac arrest what you and I have met, mentioned many times about changing the wheels in a Formula One car. And we get it from 96 seconds down to 2.05 seconds. That's what we want to do. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And it, it, you reminded me of something Jim Ward said yesterday at the Academy. Uh, it's not about telling everybody how great we are. It's about saying how committed we are to making a change. Um, Can I just say, Gareth, you've never asked me, but my first car was an Austin 1100. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> This was a reference to uh, Top, Top Gear, Gear and how, but um, does that make me Jeremy Clarkson? Uh, well, I'll leave that. Or, or, Chris, or Chris Evans. Evans. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Time to, uh, time to move on. Oh.